1929, the astronomer Edwin Hubble published the data shown. The graph plots the velocity of galaxies relative to Earth against the distances of galaxies from Earth. And then here's our figure. Hubble's data can be modeled by the equation V equals 500D, where V is the velocity in kilometers per second, at which the galaxy is moving away from Earth, and D is the distance in megaparsecs of the galaxy from Earth. Assume that the relationship is valid for larger distances than are shown in the graph. And a megaparsec is 3.1 times 10 to the 19th kilometers. 22. According to Hubble's data, how fast in meters per second is galaxy Q moving away from Earth? So we want to find galaxy Q on our table here, and we see it's at this point. It's at a distance of 2 megaparsecs, but importantly for us, it's at a velocity of 500, but notice here, kilometers per second. So here is where we got to bring in a little bit of our knowledge of the metric system here. So for the metric system, remember that kilo as a prefix means thousand. So a kilometer would be a thousand meters. So if this is 500 kilometers per second, if a kilometer is a thousand meters, then we can think of this really as 500 thousand meters per second. So ultimately we can write this out as, as you might expect, 500,000 meters per second. So right away we can get rid of D and A because they don't have a five. So it comes down to B and C and now we're dealing with a little scientific notation. And notice in order to convert this into scientific notation, we put our decimal point here. We count across, so one, two, three, whoops, one, two, three, four, five. So this would be five times 10 to the five, which is choice B and the answer. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com slash enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.